Hi, this is a video about how to choose your Timeless Jewels in a trade league. For starters, a Timeless Jewel is a special, unique jewel that drops from Legion bosses. Okay, we have five types of Timeless Jewels and you can find them better if you want to farm them. Domain of the Timeless Conflict that opens when you use these Timeless Emblems here. You use the Emblems in your map device and then a portal to the domain of the timeless conflict will appear and there a bunch of bosses will appear and you kill the bosses and you go back to the central area to refresh the bosses and you keep like rinse and repeat that that's a good way to farm them but then if you got here please like the video subscribe it helps the channel so much so there are five types of timeless jewels we have brutal restraint, elegant hubris, glorious vanity, little pride, and militant fate. This is here the Karui Eternal Val Marketh Templar. These are the five timeless jewels. What do they do? The first example that I have is the one that I have in my build here. Glorious vanity bathed in the blood of 648 sacrifices in the name of Zibakwa. These gems, they not only change the behavior of the passives around them, but they also change the behavior of all the keystones around them. In the case of Zibakwa, is this one here, Divine Flesh. All damage taken by passive energy shield, 50% of elemental damage taken as chaos damage, plus 5% to maximum chaos resistance. So you can find, you can think of its use is there, and I use this as my Death Souls build that I'm leveling up here with Winter Orb. How to guarantee a good one? In this case, I didn't have so much luck in my own, like it's kind of decent. I have Chaos Damage here, I have Chaos Damage here, I have Maximum Life here, Maximum Life here, and a bunch of resistances here in Armor. That's not too great, but the Maximum Life here is actually decent. So yeah, I settled down for this one. This one, you have to keep in mind two things. Zibakwa and 648. So you take a look here. You go to trade, right? You go here, Glorious Vanity, Timeless Jewel. I play in Hardcore Necropolis trade. So you go to the filters. In my case that I want Zibakwa. I type here, bathe in the blood of, sacrif uh, of number sacrifice in the name of Zibakwa. And then you search it. And then from the 53 that I had found before, it's 16 now. Now all of them give me Zibakwa. Why Zibakwa? Because Zibakwa is the one that gives Divine Flesh. You can see here, if I click on Glorious Vanity here, you can see there are three types. One that gives Immortal Ambition, one that gives Corrupted Soul, one that gives Divine Flesh. They are from Ahuana, Doriani, Zibakwa. These keystones, they are different, you can check them out. Once you get the type that you need, you are going to take a look at this number here and you are going to click here on copy item. So let's go for POB. That's the build of my Death's Oats on POB. And I really like this build. You should check it out. And I have the item that I am equipped right now. The Zibakwa 1648 that I found. So the item is right here. Water's Vanity Timeless Jewel. And in here that, that is equipped. So I come here. I delete my jewel for organization purposes. Create custom. Remember that I pressed the button here. Copy item. Come back here and I paste it. Click create. Add to build. And I equipped here because that's the place that I want. I want these skill I want these nodes here and I want these nodes here so I don't want my glorious vanity to modify this or this but I could go there depends on my build. So I had decided already that I don't need anything in this whole area so the keystone that comes here is going to become my divine flesh. If I put it here, it's going to be the Mind Over Matter. If I put it here, it's going to be the Pain Attunement, right? It's one that you are not going to need. So then, I you add to your build your new Glorious Vanity, right? And then you check. For example, here we have Fire Damage, Maximum Energy Shield, Area of Effect, Physical Damage, Block, Spell. You check every place. Block, Spell Damage, Maximum Fire Resistance like maximum issue you keep checking you you check the the notables and the small nodes the travel nodes you check everything because like i normally for this spot here the most important one for me are these two because these two they i just spend one point to get access to no, two notables so they are very important that's why the one that i have equipped has life and life because life is so important for the build that i am i squishy enough <laughs> so 
you just do it. And this one here, for example, is 5714. My build needs life and chaos damage. Maybe or effect, curse effect. So I can see that from the Zibaqua, 5714 is not good enough. So I come here and then I copy the next one. This one is 6310. Copy, I create, I add to build, and then I change it here to this one. So let's take a look on this one. Oh, 2% only maximum life, spell damage. And then you can keep checking, but I'm not satisfied because I, I just wanted these two. I, like, you could see other things, but yeah, like, you can keep looking, but it's always going to be Divine Flesh. Always, always. So, Glorious Vanity modifies everything, but I have a build, I died already, I play hardcore. <laughs> like, I don't do that if you don't like it. Don't like to die, don't play hardcore. I have a build, Montreal's Grasp, that uses the Templar version, okay? Uses the Militant Faith. So, the Militant Faith... In my case, the militant faith, I don't care about the, the, the nodes here. What I care about is this node right here. Slum. Slum. Slum Lord. Minions deal 80% increased damage. Normally, I try to find a militant faith with the same method, right? I come here. In this case, I don't need, I don't need this part of the filter. Because I don't care about what type of keystone I'm going to obtain. So, I just put here militant faith. And then I have more options. So I, it's, it's pretty cheap because that's not very hard to, to, to obtain. So you come here and you copy and then you put in the build. And then you keep doing the same thing. In this case, I settled down for this one here. Because all, all the, the, the gems that I... This was on the third day of the league. These people are crazy farming this shit. So of all the gems that I found here, I couldn't find one with double slumlord. In many other leagues that I played, my, my race, uh, Zombie of Slam, I could get two Slam Lords here. But now I settled down for this one here, Gleaming Legion. 80% increased armor. So this build was like, had 17k armor, it was pretty decent. I died for like, crits. <laughs> it's, it's, the rip clip is somewhere here, you can, can look it up if you want. I wanted the armor and the Slam Lord. There was one league that I got very lucky and I got two Slum Lords and one Green Bleach. Like, that was, that was the best one. I think it was 50,000 something. That was an insane jewel. So I bought it. Normally I farm them myself as well. I don't play Souls of Found. I like, I like trading and I don't like to be like hindered by needing like a small... Uh, like, everybody has their own reasons. I play hardcore, you guys can think that I'm crazy. So I just go for the trade and I look it up. Apart from the ones that I farmed that were not useful by any means, I found like two or three that I could. So I gave the guys a prize, I haggled the bits and then I found my jewel. So now you know how to do it, how to get your correct jewel. Uh, this jewel here, for example, it transforms the small <laughs> nodes in Price of Glory, which gives you nothing. So the, the notable that you are looking for really must be very valuable. In this case here, come on, 80% damage for minions, 80% increased armor, it's pretty valuable to me. It's two to get here and three to get here. And I would already get the, like here. So in fact, you lose so much. Lose one, two, three, four, five, six. That is the gem, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So 12, 13. But 13 nodes for me would be worth it if I had two Slum Lords and one Gleaming Legion. But here, I just had these two and I had to settle down for it. So different builds are going to have different things. There was one build that it's it's lost here. Like, I, like who knows? <laughs> so one of these builds used uh, one of the other Timeless Jewels to give me strength. Uh, and one, I think Little Pride gives you Dexterity, Brutal Restraint, or Elegant Hubris give you Strength, and like the, the small nodes, they gain Strength or Dexterity, so fixes your things. So just explore them very much and you're going to be enjoying them very much. Thank you for being here, I hope that you have enjoyed the guides, the small guides that I made. Please subscribe and like the video if you really enjoyed it, it really helps the channel. I see you in the next one, bye.